back to an another Blender tutorial video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this lake animation. You could use this for a little ocean or a little lake across a lot, couple of islands or something. Well, as always, let's just get straight into it. So you want to press X, delete the default cube, shift A, insert our plane, go to the modifiers tab, add in, of course, the ocean modifier. As you can see, just this, this little piece of plane just expands out. So when you bring your camera over here, to get nice view on this, control zero. Go over here to the camera part and change the level length to 30 millimeters to get a wider view on it. Once you've done that, you want to go back to the modifiers here and to get a little, slight little waves for like a little lakey effect or uh, not very choppy ocean. You know, I, I found that a choppiness of 0.3 and a scale of 0.2 works best for this. And then for the actual animation, you know, I just want to go over here and check that you're set on to 24 FPS, since this is equivalent to 10 seconds, and that's how we're going to animate this. We're going to go over here to the time. We're going to press I, go to the end of our timeline, so 250 frames, and then change this to 10 seconds, and press I again. And if you guys didn't know, you can basically keyframe anything in Blender. That's keyframable, such as emission textures, modifiers, basically everything. Well, anyway, if you press play, you should see this very, very, very slight animation here. You can't really see it that well because the resolution is turned out turned down very low to resolution of seven. If you have a, no, just be careful of the, of the setting here. You want to raise it too high, or else you're going to lag your computer. If you have a fairly powerful computer, I would just go into thirty. Uh, no, well, a okay powerful computer, I guess. Don't really go above above that if your computer can't handle it. And for really, really powerful computers, if you guys can really handle it, I would suggest going to 50 because it's really, really worth it if you go there to that uh, resolution itself. So we're not really going to have any foam or normals here. So we should just go on to Bake Ocean. And this might take a while, just saying, depending on the power of your computer. So once that's ha that has baked out, what you want to go here. What, what you want to do now is go over here and we're going to add actually a texture to our little ocean over here. You want to press new and change this from principle BSDF to a glass BSDF. And we're going to actually open a new tab here since we're going to do, be doing a slight node editing. Nothing too complex though. So you want to change, you want to take this glass BSDF and press shift D to duplicate it. Then shift A, and we're going to add in a mix texture, I mean mix shader, sorry. Connect these up. Then you want to take the color over here and make it like a very nice blue. Darken that up just a little. Go over here, make it look a little teal green. You can fine tune that later if you want. You want to bring the factor down to something maybe like uh, 0.3 or something. Right around there, seems good. And if you bring this tab out and press Z and go to rendered, it seems very, very bland right now because actually we're in the EV render engine. We're supposed to be in the cycles render engine right now. So if you switch over to cycles, it's going to look way better. Not too good since we're going to have we're going to have to put an HDR in for it to look a lot better. For now, just to optimize your uh, settings here so you don't lag the computer too much, just do whatever you have to do over here. Change the light pass. CPU, GPU, if you have that option available for you. So next what we're going to do is, after you've set up all these settings over here, just to speed things up a little, we're going to go over here to the world, from object to world, and we're going to delete the background, insert in a environment texture, and if you want, you can grab an HDR from the HDRI, HDRI Haven, or any other places for free. And then you want to go over here and open where you have your HDRI or HDR, sorry. I just have a cloudy one selected, HDR Sky Cloudy. And what you want to do if you don't have this enabled is you want to have Node Wrangler enabled because you press Control T. It gives us all this mapping and texture coordinates straight away. And to enable that, you would go over here to Preferences, Add ons, and you type in Node node wrangler so just check that off 
after we have that, we're going to press 0, Z rendered. Let this render out for a second. As you can see, we have our HDR in the background, and our textures seem to be a little dark, and we'll just fix that in a minute. Delete this light, we don't need that. Press X to delete. And just go over here to the Z, and just adjust your HDRI so it fits. This seems to be good. So we'll just go back to our object and make these a little lighter. So it looks like a good ocean. As you can see, we have this light little shading, and if, well, this animated looks a lot better than it actually is right now. There we go. We have a very nice ocean now. With this little, uh, what you call it? With this little view. And to bring this a step further, I'm just going to show you an example for one of my, uh, uses for this. So you want to go back to Z solid, and if you just want to render this animation out, let's just bring these tabs over here for now. If you want to render this animation out itself, you want to of course uh, go over here, set up all your rendering settings, PNG, to FFPEG video, you know you know what to do by now. You want to go over to file, uh, I mean render, sorry, and just render your animation out from, from here on out. If you want to stop here, but I have an, another example if you want to use it in another use case. So for a use case that I've used here, is that I've used a little ocean, or the thing that we've created, for like little tiny islands, you know, all these right here are little tiny islands or surrounded by bodies of water or just like a little lake. So if you would render this out, let's just be like a little lake or a little island here or surrounded by little islands, you know? Or maybe this is like one giant island or like continent and this is like a little lake here. Well, the possibilities are, possibilities are just endless with this little feature that they have included in the Blender right here. If you want to know how to do this, I already have a tutorial up on this. It's uh, how to create mountainous terrain. It should be the other video past this. And this is a way you could implement that or combine both these things together. And if you guys are wondering well, how I got the mist in the thumbnail in the other video, I put it in the description, but I'll tell you again over here. I just have a denoise hooked up here to like a divide, subtract, and mix node, uh, hooking up to a composite. So if you want to redo the little mist effect I had in the last video, you can do that here. Well, anyway, if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. If you like my videos in general, don't be afraid to, to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.